Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this DIY, I'm going to take this vase that I found at Goodwill and turn it into something really beautiful and unique. I chose this particular vase because I've seen quite a few of them. So more than likely you will be able to find one or two. If you can't find this particular vase, then try to find something similar that you like. I'm sure you'll be able to do what I'm doing in this DIY. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I want to do is take some of this link and cut it. I want to put a band all the way around and because it's not long enough, I'm going to have to cut two strips, which I went ahead and did ahead of time. This is strip number one and this is strip number two and there's 10 rows of bling on each strip. And of course, where you meet up, you want to go ahead and cut the excess off. Okay, so this is what we have. Now I think this bling is really, really beautiful. I can never get enough of it. So the next thing I want to do is add some mirror tile to it. I think this is the 10 millimeter. Um, I'll make sure I leave it in the description below. All right, for this one, I am going to cut four rows. Again, it's four rows of the mirror tile. So I'm just gonna take the mirror tile and press it right up against this to make sure that I don't have an opening. And now I like to take one piece of the bling and put it right in that opening. Right, just like that just to fill up that little gap so now I'm going to go around again with another row of the bleed all right just like that isn't that combination pretty All right, so before we move on, we're gonna have to lay this down like this. And I'm gonna use this tape to hold it in place. Now the next thing I wanna do, oddly enough, is to add some chandelier pendants to it. But on the inside, they're gonna be a little bit longer, but I want it to dangle down. Now in order to do that, I need to do my BIB method meaning add some of my square beads and these beads I picked up at Dollar Tree. I'm going to take some of my trusty Gorilla Glue and use it to glue my beads in place. So I'm going to start out with one bead and put it on one side. Then I'm going to take my bead and put it right here. And the opening goes this way. As you can see, I placed it right on this line. Right at the bottom of my mirror tile. Now you can let this sit for about 10 minutes and then move on to the next bead. Or you can use a masking tape to hold the bead in place. Just like that. 
So now I'm going to roll the vase around to the opposite side. Now my first bead is at the very top. What I want to do is put one right below it. Again, making sure that the hole goes this way. Now I'm going to take more tape and put it on top of the bead. Now I'm going to go halfway between both beads and put one in the middle. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So now I'm going to flip this around, put one here. So I'm going to let these set up for about 10 minutes. Then I'll come back and add a bead between each set of beads. Okay, I'm done. And I have a total of eight beads glued to the inside of the vase. So I'm going to let this glue set up overnight. Then when I come back, I'll move on to the next step. Welcome back guys. Like I said, I was gonna let the glue set up overnight and I did. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape. And here we have our beads on the inside. We have eight beads. Okay, next up, I have some chandelier pendants with the garland, and there's six pieces of the garland on there, and then the pendant. And then we have our jump ring that opens. These are the smaller rings that attach each piece of the garland together. And then we have our jump ring that opens. So what we're gonna do is open our jump ring. And I like to just slide my fingernail in there and open it like that. And then slide it right into the hole inside the bead. And then once it's done, slide it all the way through. You'll have this. Again, take another one, slide it in place, now I'll continue to add the garlands to the rest of the beads. Okay, so once you do that, you have your chandelier candle holder. Isn't that beautiful? So the next thing I want to do is just put a little bit of silver paint on my beads so they're not so noticeable. But one thing you can do is spray paint your beads ahead of time before you glue them down. So let me grab some paint and I'll be right back. I have this metallic silver paint and I picked this up from Michaels last year and this has been lasting a really long time. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just take some paint right off the lid. Put it on top of the bead and in front of the bead. Now, while that's drying, I wanna add one more piece to this. Here I have a candle holder, and it's one of the shorter ones. Here it is compared to a Dollar Tree candle holder. That's the height difference. So I'm gonna use this one. And again, I found this one at Goodwill for 89 cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, dry it really well, then come back and move on to the next step. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've cleaned up my candle holder. So now I'm going to add some mirror tiles to it to make it match this piece. So here I have three rolls of the mirror tile. So I'm going to tear two rolls off like that and I have six. Remove the tape and just put it right here. Just like so. 
And I'm gonna do that all the way around. All right, so now I'm gonna take one roll of mirror towel and go around here. Okay, here's our candle holder with the mirror towel. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is glue this right in the center. I'm going to move some of these guys away and put this right in the center. So now I'm just going to take some weight and put it right on top to create pressure to make both pieces bond better. So I'm going to let that glue set up and then come back and put it all together. Okay guys, I'm back. And I'm back to show you a couple of ways that you can use this. Of course, you can use it as a vase, pour some artificial flowers, cut the stems of course, make the stems a little bit shorter, and just you know, drop it down in there like that. I know it's kind of a rush job, but yeah. You could also find a cute glass like this. And I found a set of six of these at Goodwill. So put that in the middle. And then you can use some live flowers. Just put the water on the inside of the glass, like that. So you can use it as a vase. Okay. Now, I really love the way this glass looks inside. So what I'm gonna do is put a tea light on the inside and light it up and use it as a candle holder. Here's another really pretty glass that I found at Goodwill. And I liked it because of the little bubble at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. So you can put that right on top and put a tea light on the inside. And that's another look. It's totally up to you how you want to use it. You can use any glass. You can cover a glass with crushed glass and use it. You can also take some diamonds and put in the base of it. I really like the look of both glasses that I chose, but as long as the glass does not extend past the top, it'll work fine, but yeah. So now I'm gonna light this up and let you guys see what it looks like. Well, actually I have two. So yeah, see you guys in a minute. And as promised, here's my completed chandelier candle holder. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I think it's perfect for all of my glam girls out there. And of course the candle holders go well with modern, contemporary, and farmhouse decor as well. And let's not forget different events and holidays. Okay everyone, this concludes my video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. It's absolutely free. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.